All right, so today I'm going to show you how to combine two normal maps. Um, I'm going to be using this cross and this brick texture, but any two normal maps should work. Um, now, a beginner would think that the best way to do this would be to change the opacity of the top level, but really you're flattening out your texture a lot if you do it this way. Um, so we're going to want to leave our texture at 100% opacity. Uh, another way to do this would be to go to overlay. Now this is good, but it still has some flaws. It's not very clean. Um, so we're going to change that back to normal, and let's begin. Um, you're going to start by duplicating your top layer and naming it add and bottom one is going to be called sub so we're going to subtract. So you should have your add, your subtract, and your bottom layer. Now select your add and go up to image, adjustments, and levels and you're going to want to make sure you're on your red on the drop down menu, your red channel and select this as left to zero and change it to 128 and on the output levels, change that left zero to 128 as well. And then do the same for green. 128 and 128. Now in blue, we don't want any blue information. So we're going to select this right 255 and change that to zero. And you should end up with this yellow texture. Um, before we go to head, let's do the same thing for the sub. Go to image adjustments. Go to levels. And go to your red channel. Now this time instead of changing the 0 on the left, we're going to change the 255 on the right to 127. Do the same thing for the output. Go to green, do the same thing. And the blue we don't want to change any anything. It's exactly as we want it. Alright, so you should have these yellow and the blue textures. Now go back to your add and we're going to do one more thing to it. We're going to go to adjustments and go to channel mixer and on the add we want to make sure we're on the red and the red is a hundred percent positive um, one thing we're going to change here is the constant which is negative fifty we're going to do the same thing to the green negative fifty make sure it's positive a hundred and we don't need to do anything to the blue because we already removed all the blue information so you, so you should end up with a um, with a just green and red texture uh, now go ahead and hide that, and we're going to do the same thing to the sub. Go to uh, Image, Adjustments, and Color Mixer. Make sure in your red channel. And this time we're going to make it negative 100, and we're going to make the constant positive 50. Um, go to the green, make sure that's negative 100, and that the constant is positive 50 again. On the blue, negative 100, but this time we're going positive 100. So make sure everything's correct. Hit OK. And you should have a texture that looks like this. Now, just to make sure everything's working OK, let's unhide everything. We're going to change the add to linear dodge add. We're going to change the cross sub to subtract. Now you should end up with a texture looking something like this. This is actually really, really good. You could probably pass it, but it has one flaw, and that's that if you go to your blue channel, you notice that you have a lot of these really, really dark lines, like these black lines, um, and we don't really want that. It's not very clean, so we're gonna we're gonna try and fix that. Now to fix that, we're gonna change the cross sub, the subtract back to normal, and then we're gonna duplicate it. And when we duplicate it, we're gonna name the top one RG for our red and green channel. And our bottom one is going to be called B for our blue channel. Now make sure you get your brush tool and get a color as black as you can get it. Um, and then Control A to select everything. And go to your red and your green channel first. And go into your channel. And on your red and green channel, we're going to remove all the blue information. So select your blue channel and just color everything black. We don't want any of that blue information. So if you reveal everything again, you'll notice that you only have your red and your green. Now if we hide everything we're not working with, we're going to go to our blue channel. Um, now on the blue channel, we want to remove the red and the green layers. So you can do that by clicking on one and then shift clicking the second one to get red and green at the same time and just color all that information black. We don't want any information there. And if you reveal everything, you'll realize you only have the blue 
texture. Um, so if you unhide everything, uh, make sure that your add is on linear dodge. Your sub red and green are both going to be on difference. And then your sub blue is going to be on exclusion. Um, so now, as you can see, we have the combined normal map. Now this is actually a very, very, very clean. You can see that on the channels, we and you look at the blue, we don't have any of those dark black lines that we used to have. Um, oops, there you go. Um, as a comparison, uh, here's your old texture. You'll notice that the new texture will pop out a lot more on your texture. Um, and if you loaded this normal map onto an object, it would uh, it would be much much more visible than the the other. All right.